Smith getting a lot of hands on the ball so far. McRae, Norton with three to contend with in the pack. He's probably the smallest there and a stylish kick from Newman on the way out of the yeah, Well done to support that contest. Looks as if the has got the Norton matchup. Bad kick. Here's the problem last week. So. He's got forward in the last couple of weeks and kicked a goal. Jason Johannesson. He's got it in him, we know that. It's working back beautifully. All smiles for the Bulldogs. Had the expertise and the numbers to send it back through the middle. And the latitude for Jamari Eugle Hagen. Smith gave it and he wants it back. Akers was on to him, so Eugle Hagen changed his plan. He went to Norton after all. Six games against Carlton for only four goals. One of those were early in his career when he was a defender. Now, though, he is very much a forward. And the Dogs have the first two. And the Dogs get it on their terms again off the boot of Johannesson. It should return. And Newman not wasting any time. He ignored Hollands through the middle. Went for Kerno. Gardner did. And got it to ground. Walsh skipped through the options. And decided the short to Owies. Six goals in two and a half games this year. Is injured after a couple against the Giants. Returns tonight. And is able to do what his teammates haven't until now. A goal and last for Carlton off the boot of Matthew Owies. Back in his recognised role was Ruckman. Saad did well from a disadvantage, but McRae gets it on the Bulldogs' terms. Dale, at the last minute, was able to wait that kick for Scott. And it was perfectly executed. And now Anthony Scott will have this shot within range. Roll player for the Bulldogs. The role now is to go back and show them how to kick a goal from 50 metres out. And he's done it with conviction. And that will hurt Carlton fans and players. In front of the scoreboard. Dale from the outside to Liberatore had a passage to go forward. Equal numbers. Eagle Hagen causing concern. At the back, Norton worries in the air and on the ground. They scramble and scramble well, the Blues. Defence stays in. Norton sees the moment. Scott, another! Suddenly he steps into the satellite spotlight, Anthony Scott. Oh, spectacular miss from McGovern. He's played the mark again, Eugle Hagen. To soften the kick beautifully. A big fly and the mark was paid despite all of that. So Rory Lobb starts his move towards goal. Sends the footy where it has to be for the Western Bulldogs. And they can do what Carlton cannot at the moment. Covering a lot of ground. Speaking of which, Walsh. And sense the apprehension and the Carlton fans in the middle and that's why... A brutal turnover. Daniel to Norton. Lobb running laterally across the 50. That's where the kick's headed. And at full stretch, Rory Lobb drags it in. Jones, he found an ally back to halfback. Williams against Hollands, who did well under the circumstances. Has to redouble his efforts. Now it's up to Hewitt. Hollands for a third time. Can he hit a forward 50 target? Oh, he's yes. Oh, he's he kicked three against the Cats. Seems a long time ago, that's when Carlton were red hot. Maybe those times can return. Oh, he's kicks the second. He loves the fans and they love him back. Part of the talking point last week, they evacuated at three-quarter time. Hopefully they can stay tonight. Chera did pretty well. Got a kick out of there. Hewitt. This is line ball. The dogs are going to touch it. Otherwise! Otherwise! It's another the hunt was on from the Blues. Motlop, eyes turned to half forward. Out comes McKay. He's getting the hands on the ball more regularly. Making a difference. Kicks it long. Quickly that time. English was ready. And the door was ajar. And Curno said, yeah! I want in! And that's four in a row for the Blues. And they're not going anywhere this time in three-quarter time, Bucks. that Kerno could pounce, he was out of the picture. Motlop was so handball and more lofted than he would have liked. Doherty though, as Cripps arrived in time and the hands were stretched again from Owies. 
They were 31 points down in the second quarter. But Matthew Owies with his third of the night, and what a night it is, has cut the margin to one. Kennedy, Durden, didn't want to rush. Found a man instead in Cottrell. Realised he wasn't close enough. There was better options in the middle. Sam Walsh stares it down for six in a row. What a difference a week makes. Kalmer in front. Of course, it was rushed, so Richards had the means to get it wide for Williams. Thought about it, changed his mind. Liberatore can get ball to boot and get it directed. What a reflex goal that was from Liberatore. Smith. Crowd screaming every contest. Jones. Arnie Jones has kicked it. Good goal. The Apple Dodge, and what about the finish? And then Waitman scrambles one. Eugel Hagen, knees high. McGovern, more than a match. Jones again, slipped it to Smith. It's there. It's straight. It's through. Smith steps up and the dogs eight clear now. He's been playing as a high half forward, didn't attend the centre bounce last week. So a change of role back inside the centre square tonight. He's had nine clearances, 30 disposals, leading disposal winner on the ground. Norton got free run. Jones for a late one. Off to Scott. Surely couldn't kick another goal. You were right. Anthony Scott got ahead twice. All the headlines were about the Blues during the week. But it's the Western Bulldogs who have stolen the show. A fine win for Marcus Bontempelli and his doggies. They get home by 20 points. They're always dangerous, the opposition, when they've had the focus of the media during the week. And the dogs will enjoy singing the song. That was an intense final quarter. How hot was it out there? Uh, yeah, it was very hard. Um, pretty quick now, so looking forward to kicking the feet up. Um, we know Carlton's a great side and they'll continue to keep coming. Um, uh, we know they've been under a bit of pressure throughout the week um, in the media and that. And um, yeah, we expected a big fight and, and we got that. How do you maintain your composure when they're able to get on a roll, kick six goals in a row? How do you stick to that process? Um, I think it takes a bit of leadership on field to be loud, give the young boys their heads, um, and then just trust our, our system um, that we have in place and, and know that it'll get us through, which we did, so it was great. Your own role tonight, you spent a bit more time at centre bounce and obviously facing off against Patrick Cripps, reigning Brownlow medalist. How did you find it being back in there? Yeah, no, it was very, um, I suppose, exciting and privileged to be back in there, um, especially lining up on Cripps most stoppages. Um, that was sort of the goal heading into the game. Um, it was great to learn off him and obviously a great player. So, um, yeah, had my night um, cut out for me, I guess.